So it's cool and all that we're on our own adventure again, but I feel a little listless, a little aimless to be kind of doing these sad chump quests uh, right after we, like, lose everything. Everything that we yeah. had is gone now. Yeah, a little bit of tonal whiplash there. Yeah. The pace it was so good up to that point. Speaking of, that's the that's the real trick to Final Fantasy. They just have really nice pacing through their ridiculously long adventures. If there's anything storytelling wise that Final Fantasy is successful at, it's pacing. That's probably the most impressive bit. Whoa! Now these are some heavy legs. No, oh, but I want to keep my heavy armor. Even though these do give nice boosts. New quest called Bringing Out the Dead! Speak with the merchants outside the Waking Sands. You guys are the worst. Bring the merchant to me. Now I gotta go all the way back to Horizon. Once again, the quest lines are just jerking me around, sending me all over the world. When will I be safe from quest harassment? <laughs> when I take over the world by killing all the primals and finding the seven dragon balls, I'm gonna rebuild it in my own image. A place where the quest comes to you. A Rome reborn reborn. Yup. reborn in my image. And it's just me on a big throne, a bunch of quest markers just all around me. Scrooge McDuck in my way through quest markers. We'll just be a bunch of quest givers all wanting to give items to each other and I just do it by walking across the aisle over and over. Just walking back and forth between them. And they all praise me for being able to do so well with their quests. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty pitiful, actually. As you can see, we've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the Lich Yard they go. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks, and I sure as hell as don't want to know. The sooner we put it behind us, the better. Say, I ain't seen you around here before. Or do you just have one of them faces? Ah, oh, never mind. Any road, there's a carriage or come to haul them bodies off the lich yard. Out by the east gate. Only eight loads left to load up, but seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying all the others, you have to do the work for me. Ah, jeez. Why don't you just take a nap? Dude. Oh no! You kidding me? Are you for real? I'm gonna carry my fallen scion out to. Ah, oh, that's brutal. And I'm just gonna gather them in the worst way possible, too, by adding them to my inventory. They could have not, like, picked a more inhumane way to accomplish this. Alright, I did the interaction animation to all of the corpses. They have now vanished into my inventory. And I'm gonna carry them to the carriage. Yep. Come on, that's lazy. Y'all could have done that better. Carry them one at a time. Drag them up the steps to the coach with slowed something something. Nope, just an item in my inventory. 
<laughs> well, ain't you a strong one. Four bodies in one trip. I reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the rest, then. I'll be back with the rest of them, then. You motherfucker. That was kind of funny, though. That was clever. There's a certain... A twist. There's a certain mental consistency to using the inventory for, some, for things that you're carrying, no matter what they are. Yep. That's true, too. I guess they could be playing on that, but I feel like that's also an excuse to the limitations of their systems. I don't know. A big part of games is working within the limitations of systems. I don't know. Yeah, sure, on the design side. But this seems like a little impersonal. It does seem a little impersonal. I think this probably is the best way to have done it based on all the things that we know, but you know, they could have pulled out some stops, they could have done something new. <laughs> okay, so they made us get the four. There were eight bodies total, all of our friends. We got four of them, they're like, all right, do the rest now, because you're so good at this whole burying thing. And they also made Naraxia's corpse its own item. Yep because she's the important character out of all of them. Yep. Regular won't take long to deliver all the corpses to the lich yard. Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work here's done. And now all the corpses are on the carriage going to the lich yard. Blah. That's kind of gross. I don't even know where that leaves us. It's okay. Those weren't really the scions that mattered, besides... What's her name? We need... You gotta rescue Menphilia. Yes, that's the more important one. She borrowed my name for crying out loud. She borrowed your name? Yeah. Philia. Oh, yeah. Philia. Although I re way predate her. Okay, you can be the original Philia, I sure. I totally am the original. It's not actually an ancient Norse word. I totally <laughs> made it up. First person to put those letters together. Exactly, I'm glad you understand. In the, in the Roman languages. Alright, I heeded your advice. Found a small measure of peace burying my dead. Sure, that's what I did. It wasn't really weird or spooky that I was using them in the same way that I use all my items. Like, like what you said. <sighs> Aw, alright. Do everything you can to shepherd them to Thal's realm. That's good enough for me, I guess. I'll take the duck bills, because they're toad skin duck bills, and that sounds kind of funny. Oh, the Lunad has more difficult news! One thing I regret to inform you, also. We wish to inter your comrades on church grounds. The number of fallen scions far exceeded our estimates. Eight? We were expecting one. After discussing the matter with Father Ilu Iliad, we have concluded that we have no choice but to bury the dead in the same plots as those who perished in the calamity. Wah wah. That's really. That's kind of terrible and the worst. Do not wish to dishonor the memory of the fallen, but as caretakers of Lichyard, these are the realities we must face. Siobhan, what befell your order was an unforgivable crime. If you would have these villains brought to justice, consider making a pilgrimage to the Mark of the Warden. Oh boy. Pilgrimage sounds like walking, and walking sounds like work. Where's the mark of the wall, Walden? Oh, that is quite the pilgrimage there. We are definitely going all the way across the world. And they are going to make me walk the whole thing, aren't they? Well, golly gee, that's just splendiferous.
Oh, it's just you, me, that guy that says stuff in my head sometimes, and James. Hmm? We've got a long walk ahead of us, amigos. Yep. giant rock here! <laughs> I would have to go around now. Oh man, I just found a fate. You know how they have unique units of measure? Like instead of an inch, it's an elm. Instead of a mile, it's a malm. Instead of a yard, it's a yom. I found yes. a fate entitled Nine Elm Snails. What? Nine elms, nine inch snails. Oh, uh, <laughs> clever. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Is it a new wave metal? New wave metal fate? I don't know. It uh, completed just as I walked into the area. Aww. All right, made it to big shiny rock. It's glowing. I'm gonna do a thingy at it. There's another wine bottle here. There seems to be a pattern. Something about drinking and religion or something, or drinking and praying for our fallen comrades. As you kneel before the mark of the warden, in a moment of quiet solitude, you breathe deep of the dry desert air. The roar of crushing waters is punctuated by the faint chirping of vilekin and the shrill cries of a hawk. The gods, however, remain silent. They are not pleased with the cheap bottle of wine you brought. And we run back. Calm, but kind of pointless. If I were, if I were a less of a romantic, I would be very, very angry that they made me walk all the way across the world mm. to uh, cast a prayer to a stone. If I was more cynical. I'd be a little pissed. But I understand. It's actually, it's, it's still nice. I this Amalja hunter definitely has a uh, thing above its name. It, but I am way out of its level. You sh he's probably in your hunting log. You should... But I'm past that hunting log. You should do them all anyway, because oh. it unlocks the next rank, the next set, to complete it. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I'm way past all of those hunting logs. This is for my Marauder, isn't it? That's possible. It could also, no, you know, it could be your ma a Maelstrom hunting log as well. Oh? Yeah, the Grand Companies have hunting logs. Oh, so they do! You only see the hunting, you only see that icon for things that are in your current class or job. Ah! So you wouldn't see the other class ones on your current one. That's what I thought, yeah. No, oh, stay away. And it shows up as a moon on top of them, whether I'm Lancer or a uh, right Dragoon. Or, sorry, a Dragoon or a Marauder. Yeah, I'm looking in the Maelstrom hunting log. It looks like Amalja Hunter's the very first thing. And there were definitely some of the things that I killed earlier, which I was looking for forever. I came across it before and I was like, this is way beneath my level. Why do I have a hunting log thing open for it? But 
But yeah, level one is the Amalgia, and they really do not like the Amalgia. So will this give me some experience too? Oh, are you gonna... Oh, looks like I'm gonna DC, aren't I? Oh! Dang, that's, yep. Server connection failed. The remote host closed the connection. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. That's totally fine. This is a great place to end off. We're between a couple parts. And, uh, it's getting late for me anyway. So, I would love to thank everyone who's been watching and hanging out with us. And, Server yeah, I will see you next time for a lot more. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mumble. I will see you all again later for much more Final Fantasy XIV, as we are definitely getting closer and closer every day to the final level, level 50. We'll completed all of the storyline. Server connection failed. Host not found. Okay, okay, okay.